Aw, uh, don't they look adorable? Wake up! Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. Last time we went through Main Street, we found uh, a lot of clues, a lot of food. Uh, we found the Dust Devil page for the Tome of Doom, and I, I died a lot on the inside because we went through Mr. Rogers' Wild Ride. Or would it be Mr. Dew's Wild Ride? I don't know. I still haven't considered what I would name that video yet. Today, we are going to go and deal with the Dust Devil Menace that has plagued this place for far too long. It's time to get a revenge for the scares that they gave me last video. And oh boy, are there a lot of them. I think there's like a total of four or five Dust Devils on Main Street. Only this time, we have a way to deal with them now! Oh, he's charging! He's charging! I caught the wind! I'm, d I'm just gonna suck the devil right out of this place. That, that, that was a poor choice of words. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I didn't mean it! Okay, yes. I lied. Yes, I did. That's devil. Was that devil number three or four? Ah, eh, whatever. They're all, they're all gone. Well, it's a good thing that Magical Hand decided to disappear right after she acknowledged it. Alright, let's take a look at the last of the clues. And I hit the wrong button again. Alright, so we got the note and the photograph all uh, gone over last video. Let's take a look at the very, very tick ticket that I almost died on the inside for. I didn't almost die. I did die on the inside for. This is a one-way train ticket for the coast. Um... Okay. That's it? It's just a one-way train ticket to the coast? Well, I think the train's a little derailed right now, Velma. I did all that for a one-way train ticket to the coast? Let's just get on to the next one. This is a map of all the tunnels under the theme park. Oh, great. That would have been very helpful when I had to go through that tunnel to the theme park. Well, those, these two are the most uncluish clues ever. I mean, the travel ticket, yeah, that can be understandable. The photograph, I understand because it was Zabrinsky and he was the, the, the bad guy from the last chapter. Even the note, which was from Zabrinsky, understandable. But a wig and a map, seriously, those are not clues. Oh man, there's a saloon dancer costume. It's not like we're at a theme park, you know, where, you know, characters dress up. It's not like they need a map to map out the roller coaster ride to hell. N not not that ride to hell, the, the a different ride to hell, but it, I still would probably die on the inside either way. So yes, continuing the trend of very disappointing bosses in this game, well, okay, last chapter's boss was an alright one. We gotta defeat the boss by defeating its minions. And yes, it is just a giant dust devil. Ki ki kind of lackluster, if I do say so myself. And also, how the hell did those three get on to, er, to get onto this situation? What, were they just riding the carousel to figure out what to do next? And then it just attacked them? Also, wow, I am really low in energy. Thankfully, they they throw out wisps as they spin around. Uh-oh. Hey, right, you know what? It would be really nice if I can actually grab some wisps. 
Also, it would probably be very nice if I go grab some Scooby Snacks, because I'm about to die. There we go. Alright. Gonna suck the devil right out of ya. Uh-oh. Oh! Okay, okay, oh, okay, listen here, you two. This is about... I think I've reached my threshold of acceptance of being lifted up and just tossed around like a ragdoll. I mean, as much as I love ragdoll, right, ugh, ragdoll physics, I, I don't want to be part of them. Hello, get into my book, please. Okay, this is actually starting to get a little ridiculous. Get in the- Get in the book! Take a look, it's in a book of reading Rainbow! Okay, yeah, okay Shaggy, I'm not in the mood for one-liners right now. It's almost as if it's a very uninspired boss fight. Something I actually do kind of like is that as we damage the boss more and more, I do believe it gets smaller as it spits out more dust devils, and also I think the carousel slows down after we get to every like every like 25% of its health gone. Okay, listen here, Dust Devil. I I about had enough of your shenanigans. Get over here. Actually, you know what? I'm about to take that Scooby Snacks first because I don't want to die. Oh! What did I say about Pun Shag? All right, looks like two more cycles. And. Did it launch into two devils or three devils? Eh, it looks like two devils. So yeah, they are... It, 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 I'm turning to Porky Pig here. It is actually getting smaller and the carousel does slow down. So that's a nice little touch that they added. I, I do enjoy it. Although I question why that thing decided to send them the only things that could actually hurt it if I capture them. Instead of, you know, staying up there out of reach. Oh, wow, he is on my ass. Uh, okay, listen here, buddy. Listen here. I've had about enough of this. You know, you guys could possibly hop off and help me. Don't worry, I got it, like always. Like we did it, Scoob. Yeah, good job, guys. Way to go. Oh, you saved me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let's see who's under that wig. Mindy Styles. Oh, Mindy. How could you? I became suspicious when Shaggy told me about the costumes hidden in the school. Going back there, I found papers from Greenwood Development. Now, who could be using these costumes? Why, who else than the last remaining employee? You mean she's the one who lured us with all that delicious food? <laughs> Please, don't take it personally. I had no choice. And to think she would have gotten away with it if it hadn't been for you young city slickers. All right, like you know what that means, Scoob, old pal. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> sure, you... Oh, shucks. Mindy's got the key to the food locker. What? No, wait, stop! Like, stop the car! Hey, come back! We need the key! The key! Did this just turn into a Mad Max? Because that thing just drove right out into a wasteland.
Alright, one, two, three, four, five clues! Ah, ah, ah! One, two, three, four, five food! Ah, 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 ah! Uh, I'm both sad and happy that I never have to return to this chapter ever again. And you know what? Let's save over the, the hotel. Well, at least they got that sandwich. Oh man, there's some bad juju. Some bad juju going down in the bayou. I probably just offended someone. So tell me again, why we're driving through a scary bayou in the middle of the night? Our friends at Greenwood Development have just bought this bayou after all the people who lived here ran away. Guess why? Scary <laughs> monsters? That's right, Scooby-Doo. It seems there have been sightings of walking dead around here. Oh, like at least they're not the running dead. <laughs> hmm. Looks like someone wanted to point something at a precise location in the sky. A satellite, maybe? <laughs> I hope they get the cooking channel. Are you sure this is the place? It looks abandoned. And creepy. Like ultra mega creepy. Root we're doop we're creepy. So what now? Let's split up and look for clues. Like I knew he'd say that. We do. Well, those zombies missed a chance to attack us. I mean, there's nobody that can get in now. We just shut the gate behind us. All right, on to chapter four. This is actually probably the most calming chapter in this entire game. It, it's very quiet and very, like, peaceful. It's, you know, aside from the whole Walking Dead experience, which there there is an AMC joke to be made there. But then again, I would have to quote AMC, and I hate AMC. Uh, first things first, though. Let's grab ourselves a key. We also got uh, a big green ghost. He's come out to socialize, so why don't we give him a nice read? Oh god. How did that not hit me? I'm actually kind of befuddled as to how I managed to dodge that. You know, you you could just go into the house. I'm. Have you tried the front door? You, you, we could also try the back door. It's right here. I mean, you just need to. Oh, wait, there is no door. Why is there just like? Why is there a thing right here? There's no way to get in. There's no door. Who designed this house? All right. Well, we need to find a way to get up to that gumbo. Can't do anything over there. There's a key. There's also an alligator, so it's probably a good thing we don't have. We can't get in there. Excuse me, ghost. Ah, it's nice to be able to capture those guys again. It's been too long. Should be. Is there a well around here, or they're just wisps? I don't know, but I do know that there is a clue. Hey, Scooby found a clue. There's a safe spot over there, but I don't really need it. What I need... ...is some energy for the book. I might as well do some plumbing while we're at it. I can't do anything. We don't have a handle to turn it at. And of course, there's no way I can go over there! So I gotta take the long way. You can't just squeeze right through that tiny narrow space. Both of you skinny. Uh, there's seriously no energy out here. 
Oh, wait, right here. I thought that was like one of the little green ghosts. There we go. And, ooh, what is that up on top of the water house? Why? It's fish! You found the fish! Alright, so what all do we need to get for this chapter? We need, well, we got fish. Looks like we got shrimp. Uh, chicken. Looks like we need some sauce. And what's that thing under the fish? It looks like jalapenos again? Did you get your fill from last chapter? That's taken care of. Uh, is there anything over there besides the key that we can't get? Oh, no, we can't, we can't get the key yet. And that was the entrance, and there was nothing over there, so I think we should go into the water house. That sounds like a good idea? I think it sounds like a good idea. And I went the wrong way. Okay, this is actually way too eerily quiet. I know I noticed the chapter is kind of calm and peaceful, but I could really go for some music. There we go. And hey, more green ghosts. All right, time for some puzzles. I hope everyone likes water puzzles, because we're going to be dealing with it a lot. I can just get over here. Go under here. We found the valve handle! We need to restore the high hydraulic power first. Fine, I'll go restore the hydraulic power. Where do I go for that? Over here? Nope. Would it be in the drain? Of course it would be. And we're back to the quietness. Maybe we can find some more stuff out here. Save spot right here. And save spot right there. Why did I have two save spots so close to each other? It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, I tell you! Are you sure the water's not high enough? It looks pretty high enough to me. I mean, it's going through the paddles down there. Arbitrary lengthening of the level. Can I sweep through here? Yes, I actually can. All that for just a box of Scooby Snacks. Great. I thought there was going to be food or a clue. He's got a ghost! He goes boo! There's a wisp, yeah, that's just a wisp. And, uh, I think we... Yeah, it looks like we got everything. <laughs> oh, there's a ghost down here. I might, as well, I might as well capture him just to clear the area out. All right, I think that's the first time we ever have one of the little guys ca uh, lunge at me when I'm capturing them. Oh boy, one of these puzzles. Right, and let's try the green valve. Nope. This. Not it. Oh, that didn't work. Like 
That's not it. Uh, try green. Like that's not it. Hmm. Okay, listen here, game. There we go. And this is starting to get a little too spooky of how quiet it is. I need something. A song. A melody. Anything. Snorkel gear. Well, I did ask for something. I just didn't think it'd be granted that request with something so weird. Also, why do we need snorkel gear to, you know, swim? I mean, Scooby's a dog. Y you'd think he would learn the doggy paddle by now. Also, where'd he get those floaties? And the swim trunks? Well, so I mean, hold down the R button to dive. Why? Because there's things in this bayou that will kill us. And not just scare us, I mean actually try to kill us, like the alligator back there. And the alligator right up ahead. Although he does have a good rhythm when he's paddling. Sounds like, sounds like you're you're like walking through slush in the snow, and it's just like you're trying to walk to a good rhythm and to a, to a good beat. Can we can we have this like synced up with the the piano music and the tiptoe music and just have it all together just to create uh, like a symphony of Scooby Doo noises? Throw in that little like sound effect that I use and they just love from the show and we're golden. Well, now that we've restored the power to the hydraulics, we can finally go and lower the bridges. Ugh, soggy Scooby Snacks. Ugh. Alrighty, so it's time to play a game of. I need to restore the hide. I thought I just did! Did I miss something? Ah, over here. Alright, now we have restored the power to the hydroelectrics. Um, push it this way, or was I supposed to go to this end? At least we finally got some music again. There we go. And we get on to this side. Push. Now we can lower the bridge. Or stairs, I guess. But bridge stairs. That's right, run. Just like all the others. Okay, don't run into me, is what I'm saying. Like I got a goat. Why'd he give up on the chase like that? I I literally had him dead to rights. <laughs> Get it? Dead to rights. Ow. Uh, why do I even try? Need 
Se... Get over there. So we need to close this. Push you. Don't know what that had to do with anything. Oh, hello. Oh, of course it is. And that raises the pipe. I figured that we need to feed this thing like power first. Hello! Um. Uh, I'll be right to you in just a second. Let me get let me get some mojo in my book before I decide to deal with you. Of course they'd be all the way over there. this. It's just easier to grab them, not have to call it over with the book, because it just takes forever and a day to do so. Yeah. Alright, now we have this place cleared out. There it is. Of course, I gotta take the long way around. The super long way around. Just push this. Of course not. Is there anything I can push that and just give me a shortcut? Yeah, this thing. Two for here, and two big ones, and then maybe a couple. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Ruby. There we go. Easy as pie. Solve everything, or do we still need a few more things to do? stuff into there. Excuse me, Scoob. Great. And that looks like that just solved the puzzle. I think that's everything. Yeah, you don't think so, Scoob. Just give me a minute and I'll fix the puzzle, of course. It needs to hold my hand for everything and show me that, yeah, now it has enough. No, 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 it doesn't have enough now. Oh, wait, yes, it does. Let's get out of here.
Of course, moving that would be like, nope, don't have enough now. Oh, wait, you changed it. Now it does again. All right, as stupid as that is, it's actually kind of funny. Just go up here. Go out the exit. And let's put the final piece of the puzzle together. Is that a ghost? No, that was just a well over there. Fix this. Groovy. And now we have enough pressure. Yes, all this time it was to build up pressure in that fountain so we could use it to, hop, to cartoon hop our way up to the gumbo. You know, instead of, you know, trying the front door, like what Fred, Vilma, and Daphne probably did. Before we go... Switch over to Scoob, and let's go for a little swim again, because there's a key over there, and it looks like it might be for something important. Excuse me? N not in the mood to be gator food right now. Wow, he, he's determined to get me. We found the fountain key. Oh, this is going to be a pain to swim back to. Yep. Not today. Scooby Doo, are you all right? No, I'm hungry. Oh, you'll get your sandwich. Just give it time. Well, the fountain key will unlock the lock over there and finally allow us to get to the gumbo. However, I think we're going to save that for next time, because why do I get the feeling that it, just getting to that gumbo is going to lead to more shenanigans and more, like, headaches, heartaches, and all the other kind of aches. And also a really big ache that I really just want to put off for a little bit longer. So... Next time on Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem, we're going to go up there, we're going to jump on that fountain, we're going to collect our gumbo, and maybe we'll have an easy end to the mystery, maybe we won't. My, my money's on the ladder, though. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Later!